Hello, friends. So, I'm going to take you back to August of 2022. This is two months after I fell in love with detailing, after I started the job up at the car lot. And I wanted to venture out and start detailing outside. This is where I put all of the detailing stuff so that I could detail the car lot cars. But in order to learn how to detail and start getting that feel of everything, I had to do this to my own car. So I got, one day I got a little wild hair and I went over to the neighbors, used her carport and she allowed me to use her water hose and I went and bought me some Turtle Wax Max Pro soap and I was gonna wash the exterior and see how long it took and see how well I did. And I was gonna detail the interior. So, at the end of this video, the reason I'm rebooting this video is because I just did a take two on my car not long ago with the new air tool. And I was able to detail my car in one third of the time that it took me this time. So anyway, I will put little arrows to show where I missed. That tells me I've grown because now I'm starting to see the little details and what was missed, what I didn't do, you know, that kind of thing. Not just simple mistakes, but genuine misses. It's amazing how much you can squeeze into a little tiny car. <laughs> So now it's time to move to the interior and here in just a second you're going to see what this young lady has left behind but it's not her fault it's mine when i did this detail she was about three years old now bella is my ginger golden retriever uh, her mama is golden as they get uh, my sister has her brother and he's gold as they get and my son has her brother and he's black as can be. Well, Bella is red. Anyway, she's left a lot of hair behind in three years. I was a truck driver in construction. I didn't have time to detail my car and I didn't want to have it detailed and I, didn't, I just didn't have time for all that. Anyway, look at all this rocks and stuff from my work. I mean, that stuff gets stuck to the bottom of my shoes and it would just stick there. And of course, oh, I probably forgot to tell you, this is a 2015 Chevy Cruze, and you can bet that it's gonna have the impossible carpet. And at this particular time, I had no idea how to handle it. No clue how to handle impossible carpets. So I had a few things going against me in August of 2022 that I don't have an issue with today. Number one, 
knowledge. I didn't have a lot of the knowledge that I have today, and I was not very familiar with the details. Um, over time, if you're a new detailer, you may not have all the details figured out, even though it looks good, but you may not, you may be missing things that you don't realize. Nowadays, I see those little things, but there are times and days when I might miss those details. And that's why I have to double check and triple check myself. Something else I did not have is some of the tools that I have now and the products. So nowadays I can clear out a detail most times with just a microfiber towel and the and the cleaning product that I use. But I'm going to I'm going to put an arrow right there where every single miss is and I and let you see that over time you will, if you are a new detailer, you're going to pick up the little things. The little things are gonna start coming to light. So give yourself some time to learn. I'm glad that I can look back on this because it does give me a good feeling that I have grown because there are days when I completely doubt myself. But I'm getting there. Keep at it. Keep working, take care of you, your home, and your family, and then get to detailing. Have a great day.